Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mystery Hour. We are still going back into Kona. Everything has gone dark, but we have everything we need to attack the wall and beyond, including weapons and guns and axes and shit. Fuck yeah. God, that's loud. Anyway. Let's get rolling. So one of the things I was thinking about doing, um, off time, is going through the game again, um, not on stream, and try to find, like, any kind of, I don't know, easter eggs, or maybe there's like a super weapon, like maybe I can actually bring a chainsaw with me, that would be fucking cool. Take that, when to go. Actually, have you ever seen, like, when the, when the internet was young, there was a lot of gory stuff going around in the background. Like, well, I guess, no, even back then it was deep web, wasn't it? Or dark web. Huh. Huh, I guess that's true. But, like, y you actually got to see what happens when a, uh, a running chainsaw is introduced to human flesh and the results are not pretty and they are not clean it's not in the movies it's not a clean cut it's uh it's pretty pretty gummy pretty pretty gummy so um how did we get here what why are they both here Neither of them should be here. Oh, all right, well, let's take a look at the map, see where we're going here. Oh, that's right, we're actually pretty close. How did they both end <laughs> This... Hmm, okay. Yeah, it's ugly. <laughs> all right. I miss... I, I already missed the radio. I have to do my own singing. Brothers in arms, how they run. They color up the rainbow that bangs on the drums. The fable will prevail as their heroes travel far. In this cartoon universe, you're a past. You put me to the test. Wait, 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 wait. Just, just hang on. What is this? What the fuck was that? Snowmobile ahead. Hell, I didn't have to put this one together. There's one ahead. And away we go. Oh! Did I see that last time? I see. There's a sign on the map we did not recognize. Is it really? Whoa, 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 let me get off my ski. A third phantom gently faded away. Carl noticed that as the cursed villagers finally left reality, he could feel a sense of unburdening exuding from them in an almost intimate way. What is What's that mean? The last phantom, lost in solitude up until now, joined the others in the forest's darkness. Man, I can we feel their unburdening. Enjoy an eternal, well-deserved slumber. Mm-hmm. Carl was only beginning to understand the horror which had struck this village. He understood that the dead were piling up and that he couldn't help them by himself. The road was clear for him. He needed to push further north and fast. Yeah, but before we do that, one thing that we're definitely going to do is load up this gun. Now, let's see how this thing works.
Okay, aim and fire. That seems pretty clear. I don't want to have to use this if I have to. Uh, what? What? I don't want to have to use this if I have to. My, uh, let's, let's kind of... Drink a couple of beers. Glug, glug, glug. Do, 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 do. Oh no. Oh no. We can't we can't go out there without another beer. Glug glug glug. And then finally we're gonna check out this map real quick to see where we're going. So getting past the ice wall is one thing. There is a kind of camp over there. We'll definitely check that place out. And then we're gonna go straight, I think over this river and just make a straight shot for the cabin which we have the key to but first let's start with the uh, the tower the towering tower oh oh hang on, hang on no I didn't mean to mm, well it's just as well give me just a second this is bothering me okay there we go sorry it's I uh, I have to keep track of with a timer and if it's covered up, I start getting nervous. Can't help but notice this is the way the wolves have gone. Like, maybe we should go check the wolves out. That'll be cool. Wee! Like, they'll be able to keep up. Like, I mean, they're just made of meat, and I have this big old metal monstrosity. Awesome. Monstrosity. That made more sense in my head. Oh, God, that's really annoying. Please stop that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's get this road in the show. Camp? That was fast. Another diary. Carl felt like someone was trying to communicate with him. Or was it simply the result of happenstance? No, somebody's trying to communicate with me. That's why they wrote a diary. Let's grab a log. Uh, that was the wrong one. And... Hmm. Not much to say here. Somebody was asleep. Hello. Looks good to me. Okay, well... Let me take a sip of something. The beast outlast outwitted me. It is aware that I know all of its weaknesses. It is aware of my strength. It is the predator become prey. Through some unknown force, it was able to create a well a wall made of ice between north and south. The beast did not want to be disturbed, but I have found a way. It is my destiny to stop it. It is progressing fast. Not stopping even for a moment. What is the beast feeding on? Hate? Cold? Fear? Question mark? This needs more question marks. Maybe that's all three. Hate, cold, and fear is what he's feeding on. He likes them. He eats them up. The elders spoke of the Wendigo. They said it would never return. No warrior, they said, could want to invoke it. The elders were wrong. The Wendigo comes from the Great Spirit. It appears full of hate. With a great thirst for revenge. The beast I'm tracking seems to be blinded by hate. Frustrated. My bolt missed it. It screamed. I thought I could hear his voice behind the bellowing of the beast. The warrior's voice. Was it really the beast running from me or the man made a prisoner in sight? That bird in the background really sounds like a, a lawn sprinkler. It's tracking two unfortunate white people, already doomed. It, sm it smelled them. 
it's moving slowly, methodically, I will not reach them in time. Perhaps its thirst for revenge will never be satisfied. Perhaps the beast is unable to reach its intended victim. What if it started to head south? What if it started terrorizing white cities? They would turn to us with planes and bombs. They would decimate our people. Why people think only they are allowed to strike. The beast must be stopped. Huh. Strangely good Jersey accent, if I do say so myself. It's all about emphasis with them. Okay, shit to what's going on here. Carl had found what he was looking for. What? He needed to get back on the road. What, what did I what did I find over here? What? What's over here that Carl found? Is it... Is it below me? Sound one, sounds like one of the whites became the beast to kill Hamilton. Likely one of the Cree is the Wendigo. And uh, I think that's I think that's more likely than one of the whites, because um, Great Spirit. I don't know. Okay, there's the camp. We want to take a right, like we have a choice. It's good to know we got a campfire. A nice little safety save. It's also good to know that Carl finally learned how to uh, how to preserve fuel. And not fucking leave the engine running all the time. Okay, it should be coming up on the ro Oh, wow! Um. Well, that's not a good sign. Hands-free flashlight. Rock on. Okay. If I'm going to do this hands-free flashlight, then let's go ahead and put the axe under number two. I don't need a flashlight present anymore. So let's see here. Red letter... Huh? There should be a rifle hanging there. Uh-oh. Its owner may not be very far. What the fuck did you put up on the rafters? Uh... We're so close to a goddamn... Cigarette. There are cigarettes somewhere around here. I don't really need another lantern, I don't think. I have like three... Oh, what the hell. We'll add it to our collection. Alright. What do you got here? Tuesday, March 15th. Pierre, I just wanted to remind you that there are rules. Rules that are meant to be followed, whether you like it or not. I hear that you've been poaching a lot lately, that you don't even care about being discreet anymore. Heck, I don't even have a chance to pretend I don't see you these days. Curse over. If I continue to turn a blind eye on this, what will people say? We've gone too. You've gone too far this time, buddy. I'll have to fine you, Wilfred. Tuesday. Here, the poacher Blair was definitely not the one who lived here. Blair. Indeed, Carl learned earlier that the man had recently been shredded to death by allegedly beasts. Blah. <laughs> September 24th. Pierre, I thought I told you that you went too far. You really hit the last straw this time, and everyone knows it's you. My friendship, my friendship with your brother won't save your skin anymore. If you dare touch a single tuft of fur within my jurisdiction, I swear you'll regret it. Like that nice hunting cabin of yours, eh? Oh, that's weird. 
I'm thinking of hanging a huge padlock on its door. Would be pretty, don't you think? Point is, if you keep going, you'll be the one behind the padlock, you! And bars. In, co in the county's jail. In ruin. Take heed, buddy. Really, take heed, Wilfred. Huh. Uh, good to know. I'm liking this hands-free shit. It's kind of nice. Hey, beer. Hey, and letter. The jacket was still soaking wet. The poor man had, surely unwillingly, had a taste of the pond's water not too long ago. According to the pay stub, that poor man was Alexandre Blais. Well... Hmm. I'd hate to look at the document file, but we're going to now that we've added to it. Oh my god! <laughs> it's gotten so much worse! <laughs> <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea? What is anything? I have no frame of reference. Like, I can read where it says, so it's like... Mm. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Alright. Maybe take a look around real quick before we... Um... Oh, yeah. We have this. And... Did I... Hmm. What? Oh, it's an axe. Look at this big gray starburst. Just like thump. <laughs> oh, we do here have fun. Uh, hey, a lockbox with some flares. The first day. Don't mind if I do. I'd, I'd like that. I'd like that fire starter. Twisted fire starter. Please give it to me. There we go. Wow, it's really loud up here. That's what I want. Okay, let's see. Let's make some deposits here. Um, I don't need all of these yet. Um, do I need this many fire starters? I probably do. I don't need this many painkillers though. Yet. Ah, uh, that doesn't actually give or subtract anything. We got some cigarettes, an axe, some bullets. And empty bottles. Don't need those anymore. And I'm not taking that lantern with me. Okay. I did that because, fuck it. Let's start a fire. I wonder if I'll get a, like, something for starting every fire ever. And... Hmm. While I'm here... Time for cigs. Smoke. Flick. Okay. That's good enough. Let's get rolling. Oh, there's the padlock. Like right there. The door was unlocked. Carl felt kind of disappointed that he wouldn't have to solve the mystery of that padlock. Eh. Alright. According to this map, we're gonna go... that way, I guess. And then we're gonna keep it going straight until we find the cabin. Which, fortunately, we have the key to. Alright. I don't know what that was about, but uh, how about we just keep on rolling? Yep. Oh, that's behind me. I can hear him. Yarp. A lot of... Just, oh, God, look at that. It's a uh, river. Who, 
who could have known that was going to be there? The, well, uh... I, I'm lost. Didn't take me long to get lost. Ghost Wolf is probably lost too. God, alright. We follow the river this way, take a left at the bridge. I'm hoping there's a bridge. Hey, Ghost Wolf! What's up, my, my main wolf man? How, how, how are you? You, how are you? How are you? Oh, look, uh, camp. Right, we back up a little bit. Stop, stop, stop. I think we're okay. God, I can't wait this in until this is a great burst of star. Sure, sure, and a, a log. That'll replace what I just burned up. What is that? Okay. I'm spooked. I, I am spooked. wonder if I can get the... I, I don't think I can get the... the snowmobile over this. There's no way I can get the snowmobile over this. But it can't run through water. Let's do some exploring over um, near the burning woods. Because this is a good idea. Apparently we passed a bridge, and I missed it. Wonder if, uh, Pierre... Pierre may have... No, the bridge is gone! That's a gone bridge. That bridge don't... don't be there no more. It's... It's no good. that away. Cross the bridge. I don't need that. Okay, I'm going to try and get the snowmobile over. I'm not sure how likely this is to happen. Wow, it's really fucking cold. And I need to smoke more. We'll take a pill, and we'll take a cigarette. I want one of those wolves here so I can flick my cigarette in his face. I'm sure it's a good idea to piss off the spirit of the woods. I'm white, or mostly, so... 
It's always a good idea to piss off ancient Indian spirits. Have we learned nothing from Poltergeist? This isn't happening. Um, please let me take my skis. I, I went through a lot of... I'm hitting a wall. Don't know why that didn't work. Yeah, sure, let's just roll over that. Ooh, I'm warming up wow on the uh, thing. Okay, let's see if I can clip into the fire and just catch myself on fire. Gotta park right next to it before I get off and go. Oh! Oh, son of a... That's... Mm, that is cheap. <laughs> that is so cheap. In any case, we gotta go on without this thing. Alright, the cabin is... I mean, this map is a lot smaller than you think it'd be, so... Let's pull out our gun and let's go on an adventure. This is fine. This is fine. Um. Thank God for maps. Oh, you know what? Just through it. We're, we're just gonna go straight through. We're gonna go this way. I am curious what's up with this fire. When did this happen? Uh, that's a no bueno. This is recent. I mean, obviously, there's fucking burning trees still embering, but... this way. Hello? I come in peace. What? How did I miss the door? The door had been busted down violently, and a burnt smell filled the air. Half of the cabin had been consumed by flames. Carl surveyed the chaotic scene noticing that someone appeared to have intended to use the furniture as bonfire fuel. Carl had no idea how such a mess could have occurred, but he knew it didn't bode well. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, I just realized all my equipment is with my snow... snow ski thing. How the hell am I going to get that snow ski up and running again? So, another thing that I just thought about is I didn't take any logs with me. Um... I might actually have to head back. That would suck. The fact that I can't take... Can't take my snow ski with me. That is unacceptable. Okay, we're heading back. We're heading back for the snow ski... Which, it'll be a good safe spot, but I cannot... I worked hard to find that thing. And put it together. Let's go run and gun. Defensive. Maybe the meat will call off the beasties. Oh, god damn. 
how do I keep my snow ski? I mean, aren't all skis snow skis? What's the name of this thing? What am I riding? What is this contraption? What? Have, I've been calling it a, a like a me mechanical finger majig. Whoop! That's not going up that way. A skidoo. It's actually a pretty good one, and it's got a. We gotta give it a name or a number. How about 23? 23 Skidoo! That's what we're calling it. That's not gonna work. Oh, hey, how, how you doing, tree? Whoa, 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 whoa. Good thing this thing has a sharp turn radius. Ah! I want to take it with me. Look at this. It's not even letting me get close to the... I'm pushing on the gas. Oh, god damn it. Disappointing. Disappointing. So, all right. <sighs> that was the ruins, but that wasn't the cabin we were coming to. So, let's. Why, why didn't, why do I even have it? Like, flick. Why do I even have this thing if I can't drive it everywhere? Like, if I had my truck, this wouldn't be a problem. Let's head right into the, the fire here. Just boom, right into the fire. Fuck it all. Fuck everything. Where are you? Where the fuck are you? Whoa! Hi! Um... Come at me, bro! Ice wolves! Awesome! Wobble, wobble, wobble. It's going straight that away. This thing's not following any kind of trail. The cabin should be damn close. It is. It's that way. Okay, see, this is how you do survival horror right here. Like, I am completely on edge. Hi. I saw an icicle. I 
keep almost seeing it. What? What is that? Oh, that's the cabin. Wait, is that the cabin? Yeah, that's the cabin. I was going the wrong way all this time. Check that out in a second. Grab a log. And see if we can't get inside this thing. Hello. Right until that point, Carl had believed that the object of this crossbow hunting had been a ravenous wolf who was terrorizing the village. But as he noticed the height at which the bolts had been fired, he concluded that the beast had to have been as tall as a man on his feet, not unlike a gorilla. The thought was chilling. All right, yeah, see, that, that cabin key, that paid off. And hey, there's a stove, why don't we start there? Still wish my skidoo was with me. Hmm. Ooh, garlic. Delicious. I don't really need a hammer right now. Okay. I'm not sure if that is a proper... Checkmate. Where are the rest of the pieces? Oh, hey. Grab some ammo. Is, well. Grab a Dutch oven. Grab an ashtray. This could turn into a new Bethesda game. Grab a flare. I don't, I don't know what the flares are for. But, uh, hey, at least we got, like, some place to call home. Now, where to next? I wonder... I'm still stuck on getting this Skidoo to come with me. Because it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of places... This game is not that buggy. Hmm. It doesn't look like there's that many places that I can... Uh, stop by nearby. And if I end up going out there, it's cold even with my winter coat. So... I don't know how good an idea it is to just go wandering off into the dark with only a few bullets. Which in incidentally... Oh, that's right, I have dynamite. Wait, why do I have dynamite? Where did I get dynamite? I used them all. I shouldn't have any dynamite. Did... Did I grab dynamite from this place and not remember? Trash can. I, I don't remember grabbing dynamite. Okay, I got choices. I could head out into the wilderness. Not terribly wise. Or I could... Blow up the river. That's a perfect idea. I can't do anything with that. The hunt continued this direction, roughly. Yep. No. He's coming from that way. He's going this direction. If you save and reload, will it teleport it to you again? You know what? That's actually a pretty good idea. 
It's a little meta. Okay, saving now. Um, there we go. Is there an option to load game? Load checkpoint. Try it. See what happens. Uh, I don't know, like that checkpoint? That sounds good. The zeroth checkpoint. I'm going to lose it if my truck's out there too. That worked! I don't know how that worked, but that that worked, Doom Lad. Although, my, uh... Where's my... Handless, uh... Uh, that was the wrong one. And I still have the dynamite. Where's my handless... Oh, my hands-free flashlight is right there. Okay. Got a gun. But I can't keep that with me. Okay, cool. Well then, let's grab some firewood. There we go, extra couple of logs. Yeah, it would have been nice if the... Uh... Is there a shotgun and I missed it? Okay, so I guess the next place to go without going on the hunt, is that cabin right there. Or not cabin, that camp right there. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Now, it should be turning around this way. And then taking the first left. I just missed the first left, didn't I? Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Uh... Oh, shoot! I went the exact opposite way I needed to. Okay. No worries. I can do this. I'm at the Burt Cottage, not a big deal. In front of the Burt Cottage is another road. We'll take a right there. And it's so good that they leave that tutorial on the entire time that I'm playing this game. Like, by this point in the game, I did not figure, hi, run you over. Yeah. Ha ha, dumb jerk. Whoa! Um. Well, this, this is not good. <laughs> How about we take a right? No, I'm going straight. Um, loading. Is that a wolf in front of me? Oh, fuck. Well, howdy, y'all. Um. It's turned out more bueno than expected. Where am I? Two more victims of this ice plague. Carl felt a chill down his spine. What if he was next? Yeah, this looks natural. I think this is this is fine. That's that's how crowbars stick in the snow. I kind of want. Carl felt the strong pull of a vision overcome him. Uh oh. What? 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 What's up, Nord? It's 
So that looked like it hurt. Young woman. Sleeping. Alive. It looked like a simple hunting accident. Uh oh. Well, she's not happy about it. There Dead. Was Hamilton. Carl recognized him. He did. This is the woman from the. This is the woman from the uh, from the hospital. What's, what's a Hamilton? major hunting accident? No kidding. The doctor examined the young woman. Yep. But death couldn't be overturned. Like your kicking she shades. Was dead. Huh. They buried her. It was not the type of body you buried in a big ceremony in the village graveyard. Why hide it? There were three people involved in this shit. Four if you it count the doc. No one could know about this. The best way to do that was to have a simple minded man bury the poor girl. Lamotte, the mechanic. Oh, that's not good. That's the doc with the gun. So he is the murderer. The doctor denied the unfair death of the young woman. But Hamilton had him in his grip. Hamilton knew all of the poet's secrets and wouldn't hesitate Where's to Where's the third him. shot? I know all about your crimes, you little communist. You know mine. What a sordid affair. Carl understood the ins and outs of the affair. A woman had been killed in an unfair accident and a young warrior had damned himself to Avenger. But Hamilton, the one responsible, had already been killed, and so the beast could not quench its thirst for vengeance. And now, recklessly, Carl had pulled the bolt from the beast's heart. Yeah, that was really At dumb least, of Carl. Who was but a young Cree man lost without his fiance. Told you it was Cree. And who had, out of hatred, become Wendigo. Um, are we really doing this? Oh wait, 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 wait. Before you before you attack me. I've really been waiting to do this. Hi. H how are you? That's that's how. Flick. <laughs> oh god, this is great, man. Right in the head. Yeah, well, you know, it was worth a shot. <laughs> shot! <laughs> oh, boy. Well, man, hey, I got a new... <laughs> you want a cigarette, too? Oh, god. Uh, I wish I had beers. Let's go ahead and down some of these and I'm just gonna take another cigarette there this is gonna be good man this is gonna be good here you can have one here take mine <laughs> hey what's up oh man yeah no I'm, I'm good uh. oh good times good times have you been running all this time? I can't run backwards, so. Uh, I need some pills. I, I probably should have put more pills on. Hey, what's up? Oh, you missed me. Ah. 
do 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 Ah, oh, I missed again. How am I how am I not hitting these? You guys still behind me? Well, I mean, it's not like you got a choice to go. It's sort of funneling me in a particular direction. I, you know what? I need another smoke. Flavor country. Oh, not that way. Oh, I missed. Oh, uh. Pardon me while I wet myself. Which I mean freeze myself, really, because, I mean, it's cold. Let's take another pill. I mean, any piss that runs down your leg in this particular uh, uh, weather is going to be, you know, let's, let's have like the longest walk, just, just long walks, you and me, Wendigo. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess I'm going this way now. I wonder where I'm headed. Like, I could whip out the, uh, the map, but, I mean, why? Yeah, there's something up ahead. I'm at the cemetery. Um. Okay. Whoop. Uh, that was the wrong button, but, I mean, here I am. Like, right there-ish. So, yeah. Can't you give him guy a, a, a last smoke? <laughs> but uh, ooh, ooh, hold still. Thump. Oh, I missed! <laughs> oh, God. I should probably take this more seriously. Oh, uh, shit, monkeys. Okay, it's time to take this seriously. <laughs> going this way now. Yeah, feel free to passive sheltered him. Lift that. Uh hmm. Oh hey. God, I miss beer. How many bullets I have? Let this be a lesson to all raccoons. It might be a nifty glowing arrow, but for Christ's sake, stop pulling it out of windows. This is probably not good. What is that noise? know what I'm doing? But well, once again, just, just playing it as it goes, because bye, dude. 
Smell you later. Is he? Is he coming? Is he coming? Is he stuck in that pose? He's stuck in that pose. He's not moving. When you disappeared, so did purity. I would defend purity against the winds, the tides, against ice and blizzard. Could it be that all this was but a story of justice and vengeance? It's fine until I go. The doctor, avenging his fiancée's unjust death by avenging this young woman as though she was his lover. Are these passionate feelings not precisely the kind of feelings that could cause a storm, petrify people deep inside, create monsters? And we set him loose, which means now he's free to go in southern Ontario and wipe out all of the French Canadians. By and large, most of Canada will consider this a win, but <laughs> maybe probably shouldn't have, have taken out the arrow part of him. That, that was really done. Forrest Rainer, that is a name that will get you picked on. Sorry, Forrest. I do like your voice acting. So, okay. Boom. Um. <laughs> that was... That was Kona. And it makes me want some Kona coffee. But, uh... That was actually really good. It, it has the hallmarks of an indie studio. But... That was good work. It really wasn't all that glitchy. I got a little upset because of the uh, the snowmobile being left behind. The skidoo. But, um, no, good story. Um, the detective work. Kind of wish that I was allowed to do the detective work myself. But they can't all be the Obra Dinn, right? And, um... Damn, man. No, that was good. That was good. I liked that. I'm going to have to um, take a look to see if there's, say, any extra endings. And if there are, I'll see what I can do and we'll go through and try to get the extra endings. I suspect there are. Like, there's got to be a way to get through this game and not... Uh, let loose the Wendigo. I, I kind of feel bad I didn't take a picture of him. Hey! Oh, whoops. Okay, good. He's not behind me. Hey, ship! Yo! Ahoy! Howdy! I'm cold. I shall be back. Yeah, I know. I'm right here. So let's go ahead and let the uh, let the backers go by. Uh, you guys helped and contributed to honestly a pretty great game. So, hmm. Assuming there is no other endings, which I'm not going to assume yet, but assuming there is, I'm going to have to come up with figuring out what's next. I actually have a couple of games that are detective-based and mystery-based for the next mystery hour, and we'll just keep this train rolling for as long as we can. Uh, it's not going to be something stupid like Evil Within. Like, I, I have, I don't know about the second game, but the first one is not a mystery. It's n n barely a thriller. But it does have a detective, so that's, that's a part. There's also the, uh, I'm, ooh. You know what? We could do the Still Life series. You checked only one ending? Ah, uh, that is sad. So, there's the Still Life uh, series. Let me see. Um, there's Postmortem, Still Life, and Still Life 2? 
Or is it still life and then post-mortem post and post-mortem too? There are a series of uh, really grisly sort of detective stories about serial killers. That could be fun. There's still uh, Sexy Brutale, which I'm interested in and I'm told has some time travel involved. And it looked fun. Um, I want to make sure that's an actual detective game, though. And, uh, you know, i got a couple of others kicking around. Until then, though, for the rest of the week, we might do A Matter of Murder, which is a... Um, it'll only be like one or two hours of it. A Matter of Murder is a roguelike mystery game. It's kind of like playing Cluedo, only... Only randomized. Well, I mean, Cluedo is randomized, but uh, uh, single player. So, all right, well, yeah, and we're just a little over an hour, I'd say. This is a good stopping point. Let's go ahead and uh, stop. Hmm. No, no, I'd, I'd say being chased by the Wendigo was a pretty good way to end that. Go ahead and quit it and uh, move on out. All right. Thank you very much for showing up. Thank you for watching on YouTube. Thank you, Doom Lad, for joining me. And uh, yeah, any lurkers out there, thank you too. You guys have a great night. See you next time.